Zach Life Beat Depression. It's day 701, and we are back to have some fun with another somatic healing session to wipe out depression. Thank you so much, anybody who's tuning in now, anyone who's tuning in later. Appreciate you guys and girls out there for being part of our social support system. As you know, <clears throat> it's a martial arts or mental health class show, and we like to focus in on those mental health tools. First one being gratitude. And my gratitude today going out to Mad With Hats for being the first one in, for being consistent and showing up, putting in the work, tuning in and supporting each other, supporting one another in this fight forwards. Thank you for being here as a support, both to myself and to others, to Mad With Hats. Uh, also, Lisa the Luminary for putting in constant, consistent progress and success uh, out there each and every day for over 400 days. Shout out to Lisa the Luminary, thank you so much for your consistency and for being here. You are also part of my gratitude section today. So go ahead and think about the thing you're grateful for. That'll help put you in your, bleh, put you into a positive mindset as we move into today's lesson. The next mental health tool we're talking about is that progress tracking tools. Day 701 for me, the sack man out here, 701 days of consecutive training. Let me know how many days it's been for you. I know, Lisa, you're already at 401. Good stuff. And Matt with hats, I know you're up there over 100 days already. Uh, so feel free to share that progress if you'd like. That number becomes more and more powerful in your life the higher this number goes. The more we keep track of the days that we show up for ourselves, the easier it becomes to give ourselves credit where credit is due. And if you are dealing with depression or anxiety, you know it is a struggle just to get out of bed. Many times it's a struggle to get up, it's a struggle to move forwards. So showing yourself that physical proof that you have overcome that struggle and stood up and fought forwards for you can have a very powerful effect in your life. Apologize for my sleep. Four hours. <laughs> my speech. Four hours of sleep last night. There you go. Wires getting crossed. But it has been 138 days from Mad With Hats. Congrats on that progress, brother. That's good stuff. Tons of volume. And uh, cool thing about that number when it's mental health focused is it never goes down. You never have less proof of how much endurance you have shown and how much strength you have. So please do keep track of that number and let it continue to fuel your progress into the future. <clears throat> now, that being said, uh, I mentioned I do have four hours of sleep. We want to acknowledge the negative and the positive in life. Uh, this show is not about, about positive toxins. See? <laughs> not running fast enough. <laughs> it's not about toxic positivity at all. We want to take a realistic view. That way we can learn from both the bad and the good. Focus on what we can do and move forward. So I'm just going to acknowledge today, as you can already tell, we're going to be slightly off due to four hours of sleep. That's the negative. The positive is those things I mentioned in my gratitude section. Lisa the Luminary is here to support me. Mad with Hats is here to support me. We're all here to support each other and help each other move forward no matter what. So even if it's a tough day for me, or if it's a tough day for one of you guys or girls out there, the point is we're here. We're showing up, we're making that progress, and that's what counts. One step forwards, even if it's a small one, is still a step in the right direction. And I'm determined to make those steps every single day, just as a lot of you guys and girls out there are as well. So congrats on that progress. Uh, talking about that, also, <clears throat> today's lesson is going to be an active recovery session. So most days we have a higher intensity shadow boxing routine, mixing with mental health, to oh, ah, mental health tools. Man, I'm all over the place. <laughs> Today we're going to have a lower intensity session where we'll give our bodies a chance to rest, uh, give ourselves a break so that we can recover. And sp speaking of which, you can tell here, uh, rest and recovery is a very important part of the training process because we do damage to our bodies just by being awake throughout the day and it's during that rest period that our body repairs that damage not only that but when we get into high intensity training and we're training different techniques and moves um, we're breaking down muscles we're breaking down things and during that rest period is when we get to benefit from the training that we did because that's when neurogenesis happens that's when the brain makes new connections to the muscles we get to benefit from that training and also repairs the damage of the day that we've done to us ourselves just by being awake. So if you don't get enough sleep, like myself, <laughs> you won't be fully repaired from the damage you've done to yourself yesterday, just with daily life, or if you're into that high intensity training, and you won't be able to function at 100%, as is me situation. <laughs> so I'm going to respect where I'm at today, I'm going to respect 
where my mind is, where my body is on this journey. I'm going to be kind to my mind and body on this journey. I want you guys and girls to do the same thing. It's very important that you set real, realistic standards for yourself when it comes to your daily goal accomplishment. So, normally I would say in a high-intensity session, I'll lower that intensity. Today, it is a low-intensity recovery session, so don't have to worry about it so much except for the second part of our class. So in the first part, we're gonna talk about a diaphragmic breathing tool. We're focusing a lot on breath work today. And that tool will help us calm the nervous system. We're gonna link that breath work tool with movement to make it a moving meditation, make it even more effective. Then we're gonna pop into an activated breath work tool known as the breath of fire. We'll link that with jab cross action to improve our jabs and crosses, our technique, our speed, a little snap in those punches, and also train our bodies how to handle anxiety and stress, that stress hormone specifically, cortisol. Um, and then after that, we're going to take our body from this excited state, very similar to a panic attack, higher heart rate, uh, elevated um, stress level, activated feeling, light sweat, heavy breathing. We're going to take all those symptoms that are very similar to a panic attack, and then we're going to take full control of our automatic nervous system in a brief meditation. So you'll need somewhere comfortable to sit, whether it's on the ground or on a chair, a pillow or a blanket. Feel free to grab something like that right now. Give yourself a comfortable space to sit down. It can be just the floor. It's totally fine. Whatever you're comfortable with. But after those first two sections, we are going to drop into a brief meditation. So that being said, let's check in on some of these comments we got coming in here. Bong bong on Superhuman Sunday. Grateful today for food in my fridge. And that's a good one to be grateful for. We know a lot of people are not uh, so fortunate to even have a fridge or have food in it. So good stuff. Never too many things to be grateful for. You don't have to stop at one. But uh, feel free to share if you'd like. Shout out to Slayer Ken. Thanks for being here and putting in that work. Staying consistent. And big fella. Big fella. I and official. Thank you for being here as well. Appreciate that support. Also, Ken just shared his progress. 310 days of progress and success. Good stuff, Ken. Now let's give ourselves a rest and get into today's lesson. <clears throat> as I mentioned before, it's a superhuman Sunday, so it's not our standard rounds. Today's round is going to be five minutes for the first section, five minutes for the second section, and then a little bit longer, kind of like a free form in that meditation section. So we can really kind of tune into ourselves and see where we need to be, how much time we need uh, to really drop in to that nice meditation and take control of the nervous system. I'd like you guys and girls to check in on yourselves right now and see how you're feeling, see where your thoughts are at, and see if you can tell a difference after we practice this diaphragmic breathing tool alone. The tool alone has the power to calm that nervous system. I'm going to take it a step further with meditation. I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. First things first, one hand over the chest, one hand over the belly. We're going to take a deep breath in through the nose, fill in that belly with air, hold it for a moment, and then long and slow exhale out the mouth. We want to make that exhale twice as long as the inhale to make sure that it's effective. And we want to make sure that that chest stays flat as well. Let's practice together. One deep breath into the belly. Hold on to it. Long, slow exhale. Out the mouth. And that's it. It's that simple. That's called diaphragmic breathing. It activates that diaphragmic breathing muscle and it calms our automatic nervous system if we practice it correctly. Now we're going to take it a step further and link in movement to make it a moving meditation. So on that deep inhale through the nose to the belly, we're going to pull into our defensive stance. On the exhale, we're going to flow nice and slow with the breath into our striking patterns. Starting simple with jab and cross, keeping it limited to two or three strikes. We'll keep that intensity level down. It'll let us train our technique as well as give our bodies a rest, the rest that we deserve. So. Like I said, we'll start with jab and cross. I'll get into the section, the second section as we get into it. I'll let you guys know how to get that breath of fire going and link in those punches. But for now, let's get this thing going. We'll have common music coming out of our sweet boom box. And if you'd like to check out that music, you can find it for free on Spotify at sacklifeofficial.com as the artist. The music's been encoded with binaural beats that help you drop into a meditative state and also active REM activate REM sleep, uh, but they only work through headphones. So if you'd like to see if those things work for you, try on a pair of headphones, check them out, stream them, see if it makes a difference, let me know about it, and uh, share that experience, if you will, with the world. That being said, let's do this thing. Make sure you got water to drink. Checking in on you, and we're going to start with that. 
deep breath into Muay Thai stance. Visualize that target in front of you. Visualize that physical embodiment of depression, that dummy. And land those strikes right on target. Let's take that deep breath into defensive stance. Through the nose to the belly. Guard high by the brow line. Tuck the fingers. Tuck the thumbs. Long and slow exhale here into jab cross. Now you notice two strikes, one long breath. Try to make that exhale nice and long, much longer than the inhale. Deep inhale back through the nose to the belly. Guard high, hold that belly in the breath. Long and slow exhale through jab and cross. Twisting through the shoulders and hips. We're rotating those shoulders and hips together. We're turning on the ball of the foot and extending that fist forward, making contact with that visualized target. Deep inhale back to the belly. Shout out to Simon Amaze, thanks for the support. Long exhale forwards into jab cross, stepping in. Exhale all the way through, both strikes there. We should be ending that breath right towards towards the end of that punch and we can tune into all those fine details for refinement here deep inhale back to defensive stance to the belly guard high by the brow line long and slow step in and rotate in <clears throat> hey thanks <laughs> step in rotate through those strikes uh, fully exhale into that striking position visualizing the target Exhale there in your final strike and deep inhale back to the belly. As you raise that guard, stay in defensive position. Long and slow, exhale forward. We exaggerate that shoulder rotation. You can tuck the chin into the shoulder as well to add defense here. Keep the guard high on the opposite hand and deep inhale back to your balanced Muay Thai stance, holding that breath in the belly. Long and slow, slow, forward. Right on through. We're gonna switch over to elbow strikes next. Deep inhale back to balance. Now for the elbow strike, we wanna drop that front hand into a pocket and rotate through the hips, through the shoulders, turning that body, let the body weight and rotation do the work. Guard stays high on the opposite hand. And we're lunging forwards at the same time off that back foot. Fully exhale here in striking pattern. Deep inhale back. Guard high. Let's return to the breath for a moment. Tune into our bodies. One hand over the chest, one hand over the belly. Deep breath in through the nose to that belly. Hold. Long and slow exhale out the mouth. that breath more effective with a little resistance between the lips. Deep inhale again through the nose to the belly. Hold. Long and slow exhale through first lips. And back to stance. Deep inhale into the belly. Into defensive stance. And we're going to go through two elbow strikes here. Long and slow. First from here swap the hands. Rotate through on the ball of that rear foot. Just like we rotate for the cross and jab, <clears throat> same rotation for the elbow strikes, just different hand positions. Keeping the chin tucked again, and the guard high, shoulders rolled up, will add defense on that lead side. Keeping the guard high in the front, important as well. And deep inhale back to defensive stance. Guard high, square up with that visualized target, squared hips, squared shoulders. Long and slow, exhale through double elbow strikes. Fully exhale there, and deep inhale back to your defensive stance. Long and slow, exhale forwards. Keep the head nice and centered on that center line. Make sure you're just rotating right through off the ball of the foot and making contact with that visualized target. Deep inhale back to the belly. Hold that breath in the belly. Long exhale forward, double elbow strikes. Fully exhale there. Deep inhale to defensive stance. Hold that breath in the belly.
belly, long and slow, exhale forwards. Remember to swap that guard on the rotation when you're switching over to the second elbow strike. And deep inhale back to the belly. Hold that breath in, long and slow flow into those elbow strikes. Head stays on the center line, rotate through that body. Elbow nice and pointy by tucking that chin in. Deep inhale back to defensive state. Long exhale out the mouth. And that is the end of our flow-based first section of the show. Now we're going to get into an activated breath. And shout out to Luca. Thanks for being here, buddy. He said it's tomorrow Superhuman Sunday. No, today. Today is Sunday. Today is Superhuman Sunday. So, <clears throat> uh, now we're going to get into that activated session. And if Claire is doing with you, doing this with you at home, Claire, don't do the activated session. Remember, it's a little bit too much stress. Always check in with your doctor or physician before you start any exercise routine, including this one, and make sure that you're cleared for it. We want to make sure we're setting ourselves, again, reasonable goals for the day. But if you are all good to go, what we're going to do is practice this yogic breath of fire. Now, this activates the nervous system. It will give you more energy. It will perk you up. It also elevates that heart rate, puts the stress on the heart and lungs to make them stronger. It also trains us on how to deal with that stress hormone cortisol in a positive, productive way. So, uh, what do we Claire do today? So, Luca said, what does Claire do today? Claire, you can stick with the slow breath like we practiced before, that slow diaphragmic breathing tool, and continue on with a flow-based session at home. For anybody else, uh, for Luca or anybody else who wants to make that progress or tra tap into some of these other tools, feel free to follow along with me. We're going to practice that yogic breath of fire. So for the breath of fire first, practice that tool alone. It's going to be a short, powerful burst of air out the lips through pursed lips and a passive rebound, light passive rebound on the inhale through the nose. So it's not a conscious deep breath. It's just you're letting that air bounce back and trying to chamber it between the mouth and the nose, turning it into a pattern. It's going to look like this. Powerful burst of air out the mouth, passive return through the nose. Turn that into a pattern, no breaks in between. And we're going to go for 20 breaths of fire first, and then we'll start linking them in with the jab and cross in just a moment. Luca said, what's today? For me, what's my day? It's day 701, buddy. Progress and success. I hope you're keeping track out there as well. All right, let's get into this yoga breath of fire. Starting with 20. In 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Deep breath in the nose to the belly. Long exhale out the mouth. Check in on you and see how you're feeling. Make sure you're doing all right. We want to avoid the signs of overreaching, lightheadedness, dizziness, spots in the vision, or nauseousness in the stomach. Those are all signs to dial that intensity back. Make sure you're staying super hydrated. The breath alone can dehydrate you on this one. If you're feeling all right, center up, and let's try those breaths of fire one more time. We're going for 40 this time instead of 20 in three, two, one. <laughs> breath in the nose to the belly. Long exhale out the mouth. Check in on you. Make sure you're not lightheaded or nauseous. If you're feeling good, we're going for another 40 breaths of fire in three, two, one. Deep breath in the nose to the belly. Long exhale out the mouth. Long and slow check in on you. And now we're gonna link in movement again with that breath to make it more effective. So from here, we're just gonna take a balanced stance. It can be Muay Thai if, you, if you'd like. It can be just a squared balanced stance if you'd like, whatever suits you. And we're gonna get that guard high by the brow line, close the, the fingers, tuck the thumbs. And we're just gonna toss some shots just right from the, the hip and shoulder. Just work on that rotation. You can turn through the ball of the foot as well. But just light, light whipping shots there. And we're going to link that pulse of the breath with the whip in the punch. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to link that exhale. Again, let that inhale be passive. Let the breath just rebound back. 
we're going for 20 breaths of fire and then we'll check in on ourselves, make sure we're doing it right. In three, two, one, let's go. Deep breath in the nose to the belly. Long exhale out the mouth. Make sure you're not lightheaded. And we're going for 40 breath of fire punches in three, two, one, let's go. Deep breath in the nose to the belly. Long exhale out the mouth. Remember to turn those fists over and let them whip with the breath when you're tossing those punches. And also visualize that target and making contact on those large two knuckles. Keeping the wrist nice and straight. Here we go, another 40 breath of fire punches in three, two, one, let's do it. Deep breath in the nose to the belly. Long exhale out the mouth. And we're going for another 40 breath of fire punches if you're doing all right, three, two, one. Deep breath in the nose to the belly. Long exhale out the mouth. And that is the end of the breath of fire section. You should at this point have an elevated heart rate, a little bit of a light sweat possibly, an activated feeling similar to coffee without the jitters. And now we're gonna take that somatic symptom, those, that somatic feeling that you have right now, and we're gonna take full control of the heart rate and that automatic nervous system. And calm it down, tapping in woo, to free mental health tools that we all have available to us in the form of visualization, breath work, meditation, positive thought framework, and a few other ones. So let's do it. Get yourself somewhere comfortable to sit, you got about 18 seconds before we start. We're gonna start again by returning to the breath, but this time we're gonna time it. We're gonna use what's known as a four, seven, eight breath. It's been shown effective at calming that nervous system. So for this, sit up nice and straight. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. One hand over the chest, one hand over the belly. And we're gonna take a deep four second breath in. Slow that breath down so that you can count all the way to four as you're inhaling. Don't force it, don't feel pain or pressure. Just nice and slow and gentle in through the nose and then long and slow out through the mouth. We're gonna breathe in for four seconds, hold on to it for seven, and then exhale for eight seconds together. In three, two, one, four seconds in. Hold on to that breath for seven seconds. Eight second exhale here. Four seconds in again to the belly, keeping the chest flat. Hold on to it. Eight second exhale here, purse lips. Letting the belly fall flat. Again, four seconds into the belly and hold for seven. Eight second exhale here through first lips. Now we're gonna start to level up as we tap into different mental health tools. Breathe normally in between. Breathe normally when uh, as I'm uh, instructing. We're gonna get back into, we're gonna keep that pattern of four, seven, eight going, but we're gonna to add to it layers and layers of effective tools. So the first one is going to be closing our eyes and visualizing that breath. We're gonna visualize the breath, enter through the nose, travel down to the belly, fill the belly, and on an exhale, we're gonna visualize that breath leaving the mouth through pursed lips, nice and slow, continuing on in that pattern of four, seven, eight. Let's do it together. Closed eyes. Deep breath in through the nose to the belly, keeping the chest flat. Hold on to it. Eight second exhale.
visualize that breath leaving the body. Visualize stress leaving the body as you exhale. Inhale again, four seconds to the belly. Hold on to it. Eight second exhale here. might already start to feel those calming effects of that breath work tool. Continue on in that pattern, four seconds into the belly. Hold on to that breath, seven seconds. Eight second exhale here. Now if you don't need the hands as a guide, you can rest them in a more comfortable position and carry on with that breath, visualizing that breath enter and leave in through the nose, down to the belly. Hold on to it for seven seconds. And then long exhale through the mouth for eight. Four, seven, eight together. There you go. Hold on to that breath. Eight second exhale. We're gonna take it to the next level and start to assign and, uh, that breath what it actually is. That breath is our power to give ourselves peace at any given moment, in any state of mind, <clears throat> in any state of being. So we're gonna visualize that breath as a ball of light in front of us. And as we draw in that breath, we're gonna visualize that light entering through the nose <clears throat> and filling our bodies. For that seven seconds as you hold on to that power of peace, as you hold on to that breath, I want you guys to visualize it soaking in to the very edges of your fingertips, to the edges of your toes. Let's do it together. Sit up nice and straight, relaxed jaw, relaxed shoulders. <clears throat> visualize that ball of light. Deep inhale in and draw that power. Draw in that light to the belly. Four seconds in. Hold on to it in the belly. As you sit with it for seven seconds, visualize it spreading out to the edges of your fingertips, the edges of your toes. Long exhale here. Ignore the bell. Eyes closed, continue to visualize that light. And remember that light is your power of peace. Let's draw in our power of peace and fill that belly. Four seconds in. Seven second hold. Hold on to it. As you sit with it, ask yourself how you feel. Eight second exhale. Four second inhale again, draw in that power of peace to the belly. Hold on to it. How does it feel? Eight second exhale. I'm going to shift our focus now to the exhale a little bit. Continuing that four, seven, eight pattern. Draw in that power of peace to the belly. Hold on to it for seven. And on the exhale, <clears throat> I want you to imagine what life would be like if you let go of all expectations. Just imagine. On that exhale, exhaling those expectations, blowing them away. Expectations you put on yourself, expectations from others, from the world, from society. Just imagine what it would be like without any of that. And breathe it out. Let it go as you exhale. Let's start it over four seconds into the belly. Hold on to that peace, seven seconds. Eight second exhale expectations. Four seconds in again to the belly. Hold on to it. Eight second, exhale those expectations. In this moment.
moment you are free, you are powerful. Inhale that power of peace. Give yourself that break you deserve. Four seconds into the belly. Hold on to it. How do you feel? Eight second exhale. One more time, breathe in that power of peace. Remind yourself that you brought yourself here. I'm providing tools, but you're the one putting in the work and bringing yourself, using those tools effectively. So breathe that breath in, hold on to that power of peace and remind yourself you're the one who brought you here. Four seconds into the belly. Hold on to it. Eight second exhale. two more times with no direction just tune into that breath let's breathe together shout out to Mel the Blind Fury deep breath in four four second inhale seven hold eight second exhale together And that is the end of our Superhuman Sunday Active Recovery Session. I hope that you're finding the benefits. <clears throat> I hope that you're finding the benefits and you're feeling the effects of these tools. If you can, take note right now of how your body's feeling, of where that heart rate is, where that anxiety level is, if it's even present at all. And, uh, and also take note of the fact that just a few moments ago, we had an activated system, we had a high heart rate, heavy breathing, a little bit of a light sweat, going very similar to a panic attack. We were able to take that somatic symptom and change it right over to a calm and peaceful state of mind, just through the power of breath. So Mad With Hat said, good times, magic man. That's what it feels like. It feels like magic out here. And uh, that is a magic power that we all have the ability to tap into at any time whenever we need it. You can do this in a stressful situation if you're getting on a plane or getting into another high uh, tension situation. You can always return to that breath and calm yourself down uh, through those other free tools. So if they're working for you and you're having a good time, you're having a good experience, please do share it with the world, either on the page through comments or at the testimonial section on the site or at Zach Life Daily, where we upload all of these shows regularly every single day um, for you to view at your own discretion. Until next time, I'll catch you guys same Zach time, same Zach channel, same Zach Life. Zach Man out.